Hello FCS 2250 computer application students, Mr. Lang here and we are in our Excel section one exercise two today and uh, so first of all I just want to say a couple things first of all thank you for being here I hope these videos are helping you um, I really appreciate you taking the time to come in and watch these and work through your projects with me I really appreciate that uh, and also hey you know what giving a, a a referral or a reference is one of the best compliments so uh, if if these are helping you out with the class man, if you could let your friends know that uh, Mr. Lang teaches this class and he's made some videos to help you through it uh, I would really appreciate that because again uh, some of the best compliments is a nice referral so uh, uh, ask your friends to sign up for Mr. Lang I'd really appreciate it uh, and uh, so with that little uh, uh, discord out there let's go ahead and begin our fun filled project again thanks for being here with me uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose next here and we got four things to do we're gonna hit begin and I'm just gonna go ahead and increase this so we can see things a little bit better all right so uh, here we are uh, we need to merge and central center excuse me the title in row one across columns A through D. All right, so let's go ahead and we can click in A. Now this is important, the white plus here. You don't want to use the autofill. We're not copying anything. The white plus to just to select the range A1 through D1. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to go up to our alignment group on our home ribbon. Alignment group, merge and center. There we go. Puts that, it kind of takes those cells and it merges them into one. All right. Let's go ahead and go on to two of four. Change the alignment of the range B4 to D4 to right alignment. So go into our range again with the white plus. We're going to select this range and we're going to go to our alignment group and we're going to right align. All right. Three of four. We're going to apply that counting number format to the range B5 through D16. Let's make sure we're getting the right format. We're going to be doing some stuff up in here. We're going to select the range B5 through D16. So starting from here down to D16, this range. All right, B5, D16, white plus to select them all. I've had students use the black uh, plus to do this and is it even allowing me to come over this far no it's not and they're like whoa what happened there I'm gonna do a control Z on my keyboard to undo that use the white plus to drag through uh, the uh, the range that we need now we're gonna click the accounting number format button in the number group on the home tab number group here is our accounting number format all right and there's also a lot of other options for us is here as well we can use accounting there as well but uh, if you don't see them uh, on the shortcut menu there's some here and there's even more all right that these are just some of the basic ones again this is one that we are using a lot so that's why it appears there so we have our accounting format there all right let's go ahead and close that I actually haven't done this in a couple seconds so I'm gonna just click off into a different cell to deactivate that and I'll hit my save key there all right so we are now on the last one display cell formulas in the worksheet all right this is very important to be able to see the formulas so we're gonna click on the formulas tab and in the formulas tab uh, we're gonna click the show formulas button in the formula auditing group so your formula auditing group show formulas all right, and now this has done this already for us. We have these formulas. We're going to learn more about formulas and start putting in more formulas soon. Uh, but it already created these formulas for us. We took B5 minus B6, all right, to get our gross margin. We added up our total expenses, so that range right there. We minus our gross margin, excuse me, our expenses from our gross margin here. We've done some taxes. We've taken that number that's in B14, times it by 22% for Uncle Sam. And then our net income after taxes. So we took our income minus our taxes. All right, so we have some formulas there. Nice to see those formulas. Again, these numbers can change. All right, this number can change. Advertising expense. These formulas will adjust for it. 
pretty cool. So I think we've got our formulas shown. I'm going to go ahead and hit my save key here. And I'm going to check my answer. The point of no return. Okay. We've done really well for our Excel Section 1. That kind of wraps up Excel Section 1. Uh, you guys are going to go ahead and uh, now start working through those assessments. And uh, if you have any questions, again, please let me know. Uh, or if you have technical difficulties, I think you know what to do by now. Head on over to that chat link that we have on our course's homepage in the important links. Again, thank you for being my students. Go Broncos. And we will see you in Excel Section 2.